Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of conflict. This is an energy of uh, spitefulness, pettiness, trauma. Um, they, this does feel like someone feels defeated by this energy, though. They feel like they would rather withdraw because things have gone too far. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth energy, the Ten of Cups, Water energy. And we have the Four of Swords, Air Energy. So, yeah, there is this feeling here of someone who... This could have already been a relationship that you were in or it's something that was heading in that direction and ego got in the way. Pride, you know, vindictiveness may have gotten in the way because we're seeing someone who's taking a break from this, like this fairy tale, this love story, this potential love story. There's this feeling of someone kind of losing hope in it or stopping to believe in it um a, a, a desire to really just retreat and recover like this is someone who feels like they want a break and they want to heal so let's clarify these cards cancer So we have the devil in the reverse and this is Capricorn energy. So there's definitely a desire to put an end to toxicity. Um, someone here could feel like the connection is holding them back, like the connection is keeping them in a low vibration. And there's this desire to release the connection, to release that mindset. You know, there's a desire to prioritize better mental health and well-being. So let's see. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Page of Wands, Fire energy, and the Emperor, Aries energy. It looks like you could be taking a step back from the connection. With the Hermit being here, there's also an energy of retreating, wanting to spend time in isolation, wanting to kind of get clear on what you really want out of love and relationships. There's this feeling of, you know, kind of having lost yourself in a connection and needing a, to take a step back. Um, you know, but there's this feeling of embracing this time alone to kind of have more of a curious mindset and also learning where your power lies with the emperor. It's like you'll be standing your ground in some way against the situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. We have communication is key. New Moon in Gemini. So communication, productive communication could help the situation. Um, there's a feeling here of not really understanding where the other is coming from. Um, but you may want to take some space first to get clear about where you stand in regards to the situation. Okay, so you and this person will still have an opportunity to communicate again. In fact, with the page of ones, they may reach out to you. Okay, so let's see.
Okay, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We have prosperity and compassion. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. Yeah, surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So this could be what you're in the process of doing. This connection could have felt like an addiction, a toxic habit, um, with the devil being there in the reverse. It does look like there's this desire to kind of release that negative aspects of the connection. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.